Hey guys, it is Melanie and I'm going to talk about overcoming stress today because, you know, if you saw where I posted it, it was like, okay, yeah, like I'm talking the stress that makes you want to flip out and go crazy because let's face it, we all have stress, right? We all have stress, but sometimes you get to that point where you're just like, have you ever felt like completely overwhelmed, almost to the point of like where you're completely exhausted. You're like, this is just stress on top of stress and I, I just want to cry or you want to like you know, curl into a ball or throw up or punch someone in the throat or whatever, you know, give them a high five in the face, whatever it is, um, with a hammer. Uh, you know what? That, that kind of happens to a lot of us. And so I'm just going to kind of tell you, like, you're human. It, it's normal. And there's a way around it. There's a way to kind of overcome it and maybe handle it a little bit better, you know, because it's like, I, I, had, I had an incident like this last week and I probably have one like, you know, every minute and a half or so, but you know, you're going to kind of pull yourself back. So, you know, you're like, Oh my God, there's so much going on. And you're like, I got this. I can handle this. You know, I got, I got all this stuff to do today, but I got it. I got it. And then like one more thing gets put on your plate and you're like, I got this. And then all of a sudden it's like, I don't got it. I don't got it. And I don't have any idea what's going on. And you just, you get overwhelmed and, and then you're like, okay, if one more thing gets added, I, I'm going to flip out. I'm going to explode. And, and all hell is going to break loose and nobody's really going to like me. So I know that it can be over. Hey, and then your internet cuts out on you and you flip out again. This, this, this probably will happen a few more times just to let you know. This is how it goes. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I just want you to know that I can relate to that, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to what I just said. And they're like, God, I, yeah, what do I do? How do I de-stress? How do I decompress? How do I get over it? How do I move on? So, you know, sometimes seriously you do, you just have to let it all out. You have to scream and shout and let it all out, whatever it takes. You know, dance around, spin yourself around, do the hokey pokey. But really, get it out write it all down write down all the things that you're like oh my god i'm overwhelmed and and this and that and 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 just look at it all because sometimes when you sit there and you figure it all out because you have to do this because we're we have to adult i know adulting is hard these days and we just can't even um but you have to kind of figure out what is absolutely necessary on that list that's maybe stressing you out what is absolutely necessary and then you know what is really like optional you know, I mean, like, yeah, you kind of have to do the, the things that are adult things, but like, maybe you don't really need to go let Susie's dog out. I don't know. Right. And, and then maybe that's stressing you out because it's adding an extra five, 10 minutes to, you know, you having to be on this side of, of town to pick up so-and-so from football and then take the other one to dance over on this side of town and then get home and cook dinner. And then, oh my gosh, I still have laundry to do and whatever it is, whatever it is. Some of it is optional. I know you don't think it is. I know, I know you don't think it is. So you have to identify what these things are, the optional things, you know, that are causing you so much grief and so much stress. And, and is it mandatory? Is it like absolutely mandatory that I go and let the dog out next door at someone's house? If it's stressing you out, no, it is not mandatory. Okay. So what is the solution? What, what is the solution? So we kind of have to accept like, yeah, you know, like a lot of these things, are mandatory. They have to be done. They're like non-negotiables. But what about the things that aren't so, you know, are, are, are optional? What do you do? So you kind of have to try to figure out like, well, what, what made me get so overstressed? Because guess what? Yeah, we are responsible for certain things. Whether we want to point the finger at someone else or not, we're kind of responsible for it. And we have to take ownership of it and figure out like, did I take on too much today? Did I say, you know, cause sometimes you just, you just want to get all done and be done with it and, and just call it a day and be done. Like, I'll just do that. Whatever. I'll just get it done. Who cares? Nobody else is going to do it. But did you take on too much? Did you say yes to too many things that you shouldn't have? Did you maybe underestimate the amount of time it was going to take you to do certain things? These are all things that can be changed to make your life a lot less stressful. And that's kind of where I'm saying, like, get it all out identify what is mandatory and what isn't, and then figure out what you're going to do about it. Like, how are you going to make the changes? You know, maybe the optional stuff can just stay optional. Maybe you can be like, not doing it. I'm going to pass it off to someone else because guess what? They may do a better job than you and it's okay to pass it off to someone else. It really is with certain things. Um, you know, delegate it, politely decline 
certain things when people are always asking you to do that. Because if it's stressing you out, you're never going to overcome it if you don't realize, hey, these things are optional. I don't really have to do them. It's not something that is a non-negotiable in my daily life. And it's causing me stress and I want to throat punch people. It's not worth it. Totally not worth it. So you have to, in this situation, you do have to think of yourself. And, and I always say, think of your sanity because like, dude, really, it's your sanity or, or, or you can, you know, constantly be ignorant to people and be short with people because you're so stressed. So you have to make some changes. You have to find that happy medium. You have to figure out what's optional, what's mandatory. What do I actually need to get done in order for, you know, me to check off the day and say, good job, pat on the back type thing. So you have to find a method to manage all this craziness because the inability to actually deal with stress can cause a lot of other issues just on the inside versus you just being like rude on the outside. It can cause a lot of health issues that you you just don't want to have to deal with. You don't want, you know, when it's something that you can avoid and, and prevent from happening and, you know, be proactive about, then do it. So, you know, my thing is, is you have to find a method that works for you, whether it be delegating the, the optional things to other people, um, you know, because guess what? That can be like a lifesaver to you. So you don't have to take it all on. You don't have to do it all at once. You can overcome stress. Um, it's, it's actually, I don't want to say you're never going to have stress, you know, by overcoming it, but when you learn how to deal with it and you, you have that ability to deal with it better, life is freaking amazing. Okay. I mean, it's not going to be butterflies and daisies every day. I can tell you that, but you're going to be less stressed. You're going to feel less stressed. And then if something huge and ginormous should happen, that is like way stressful. When you've learned how to handle it, it's not as crazy as it was when you had all that on your plate, you know, a month ago, two weeks ago. And you'll have days that are, you know, crazy where you're, you, you have those feelings I talked about in the beginning and, um, you know, you'll know how to handle it better. You'll know how to overcome it. You'll know how to like, stop, time out, time out, time out. What is it? Time out. See, so like normally that would have really stressed me out that my internet kind of went out a second time. Um, but actually I was going to kind of start dancing. So when it came back on, you'd catch me dancing. But anyway, um, yes, you kind of have to learn like, okay, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. I'm not going to, um, take on more than I can handle because, you know, yeah, sometimes a lot is thrown at you and you have to handle it. You have no choice, but in a day-to-day -day life, when you feel so stressed, you don't have to live that way. And, and I'm here to tell you that you can, you can, um, overcome it. You can learn ways to cope with it. Oh, and I'm back. Okay. See, I told you it was, <laughs> it was totally going to do that before I said goodbye. It cut me off and I didn't like it. I wasn't even about to let it end without me saying goodbye. So that was what I had to say. Totally lost now everything I was saying, but I was closing it out. So just remember that you can overcome stress. You can learn how to handle it much better and life can be just, you know, a tad bit easier than what it is right now if you feel like your plate is so overfull. So that's all I have. I'm seriously going to be done now because it will probably cut me off in like three seconds. So thank you guys for getting on and being patient.